check it off. Take that off. So coming in. Oh, I'm freaking wizard. Uh, and chill up on the So you see it all split here. Oh, yeah. Bro. Uh, bro. Dude. Oh, up over the head. Lit, lit, lit. Oh. Uh, stop here, big time. Freaking hell, dude. Welcome to the Shire. This, this, no, just eat it, bro, just eat it. Oh, this is this man's whole new unit. Look at it. Look how much room there is for activities. Hello. Hello. So, welcome back to another episode of The Worst Pain with Mitchell Rapp. So, from the gym, we are going to follow Mitchell through to the massage chamber. Come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I just walked into a fart, into a heating room. Oh. I've just set the cool temperature and you're still quite yellow. Do you have liver failure? No, it's called being mixed race. Liver <laughs> <laughs> failure or you mixed race? That's the only option. Can't jump in this one. Whoa! Oh, you see? That was way cold, man. I'm getting that getting getting back. This is... The new studios of Ram. You're even on Google. You're actually on Google Maps now. Google my name. Mitchell Ram Sports Physiotherapy slash Psychopath Dungeon. This is where we will be now hosting the Worst Pain series. This is why we've had a little bit of a delay in getting uploads. One, I've had a newborn baby. Yeah. We're talking about you. And two, Mitch has been building this place. Ten times the size of the last place. It's been a big job to be fair, so website's coming as well. Get ready for that. What? You said that like it was some CD website. Get ready for that. It's the heated room! Spinach. <laughs> Just take that one out though. The torture's already begun. Today, <laughs> today we're gonna to be looking at something that is a serious factor that affects pretty much everybody that has been training for any length of time. Sometimes it affects people from the get-go, and that is shoulder pain whilst benching or pressing of any form. Now, this can be a new injury, but it can also be a chronic injury. And today we're fixing chronic, not the drug. What? So if you've watched the series, if you've watched the series before, you will have seen we have done a shoulder repair before, but it turned out that that pain was a radial pain from tendonitis in the upper bicep tendons. In the interim of all that being fixed, I have ripped the bicep off the bone, repaired it, and now I'm back bigger and better, not bigger yet. I want to rebuild, vlogs are edited and on their way, so there will be regular vlogs in between all these worst pain series of my daily life, training, diet and everything, as well as having a new little one. If you haven't seen those videos, it'll be linked all over the place on the channel, just go watch them. Because again, YouTube is um, screwing everyone on the algorithm. Mm. <sighs> Your help is always appreciated, and if you've already liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments. It's always much appreciated. And if, for every comment that you leave, you will save a Yemeni's child. So this might seem like it's a vintage pain, but it's actually probably now real shoulder pain, not radial pain from the bicep. It's because of compensation, we think. I haven't done bench press for over three years because of the shoulder pain I was getting from what turned out to be bicep tendonitis, but I've gone back to bench because it's one of my goals in this rebuild. Got sick, lost weight, rebuilding, and I want to be able to bench press again. And to be able to bench press and shoulder press and do all these things safely and grow and develop strength in the shoulders and not just kind of grind through, we need to fix it. And this is something that I think many people online will suffer from. So today what we're gonna to do, because we now have access to an entire gym, I'm gonna actually do a bench press. I'm gonna show you where it hurts and when and why. Well, I don't know why. He's gonna pinpoint why he thinks it is. We're gonna come back in here, fix it, then go back out there and hopefully show that we've made a difference. Yeah. So we're gonna load the bar up with what is not a heavy weight. I think I bench press 20 to 20 and a 10 or a 15. 50 aside? It's not 50 aside, is it? 20, 20 and a 10. Yeah, it is. Maths has left this building. So back in the day, this would have been just the warm up that I started on and I would have done around, I don't know, 10 to 16 reps on here. Pain would start on 100. I would literally grip my teeth and get through it until it went numb and then just carry on every session. This is not a heavy weight for me to move, but it becomes immovable because of the pain. So let's just see if it hurts first. Let's do whatever you normally do. 
freeze frame it here, look at the angle of that bar. That is an immediate sign that there are issues. And if you watch the bar and track it as it moves down, you'll see that this carries through the whole movement. So make sure you're checking your own bars and checking to see if there's issues. Because if there's an angle, there's an issue. Let's bring you guys in closer. Watch your nuts. Do you always do formless? Oh, I always do suicide grip, yeah. Mm, right there, yeah. So it's building now. Oh, oh, right down that bit further. Over, 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 over. Keep going. Yeah, a little bit up. Yeah. Like so. so right in that front. Oh, there it is. About there. Let yeah. me press. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The pain radiated from like here. Yeah. And then it came to there. So what do you think this is? Your front dial, your pec major or minor. Okay. Um, can be rotated cuff and a weakness in the upper back. The is... upper back. What are you doing? Let him take off his bra. <laughs> Still weakness, mate. Damn it. So, what we're going to work on now? Right. Just answer quickly so we can go. It's cold in here. Okay. Gonna massage all that and and, and behind. All okay. right. Pec major, pec minor, deltoid, front, side, and rear. Okay. Rhomboids. <laughs> Rotator cuffs is a big one for pain around here. Okay, okay. and the Caraco Brachialis, which goes into the shoulder, two bicep heads as well. To the dungeon! Go to the fan on. Mate, it's not bad. You're sleeping. Basically, don't get a coffee with milk in it if you're lactose intolerant. intolerant. Hang on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test to see if the shoulder is going to be in pain because if it's going to be in pain, what I'm not going to be able to do is hold out a weight on the leverage things. I'm going to put my arms out and he's going to push on my arms and if it hurts my shoulders, you know the shoulders are hurting. This is a really simple test that you guys can do at home to see if it's the shoulder or the pec that's really doing the damage. Okay, let's go. So the price and pressure as he straightens his arm, if I apply pressure down, any pain, or well, we can test the strength level, so that's quite strong, yeah? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find quite a lot of pressure. And that's post-shoulder workout. Yeah. Switch. The weakness. So this is the shoulder we think's knackered, so. Same again, watch, push down. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. So, you can just really tell. Are you actually proper going up? Well I'm time? shaking. Ready? One, one, two. Full power. Ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, flipping ten to <laughs> one from that. And full power. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh, it beat me. Oh, yeah, so easy. easy. Freaking yeah. hell. When you let go then, it went boom, up there, and then there. So as you can see, there's a weakness, yeah. overcompensation. That was way worse than I thought. Although there is no real imbalance in me, that's obvious, there might be if we look a little closer, there is an imbalance in the strength from left to right, which is going to affect my ability to lift heavier weights over time, which over time is going to affect my hypertrophy. Bad news. Why are you off the camera so much? Because we get too close to you, man. You're the one farting. Yeah, but you're the one who's naked, bro. You're about to rub your fingers in places men shouldn't go. <laughs> Mount up. We're bringing back the Mitch Pro. The titty cam for that. You can't have it down by your belly button. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Mitchell's OnlyFans. Only. <laughs> no. <laughs> NPC. <laughs> so we're going multi cam again. We've got camera one. Camera two. <laughs> I hate go GoPro. GoPro. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Camera three. <laughs> right. So because you were getting pain on the on the deltoid, we'll address that first. Put this left hand behind your back. This is a nice little technique to do to really stretch out this back. You see your stretching style. So first of all, then let's get into these bad boys. So. Obviously, we're going to address where he's getting pains, front dial. Uh, right, there you go, right there, look. Oh, I can feel that knot. What's that? Oh, frick! Let's be a little bitch. What's that? <laughs> oh, dude! There you go. And that's oh. it. <sighs> Your body already hitting the nail on the head. Wow! Wow, wow, so wow! Look, so look at that, yeah. Oh. That there, look. It's so tight here. Is so there's an adhesion in there somewhere. Jesus! So that there is tight. All things an adhesion. See, look at this. See the difference? Here, here, here. Nothing, nothing. Get to here, it's the block. Yep. So get on top of that, look. Uh, there, look. Why is there an adhesion so bad there? It looks like overcompensation has been from here. It, ah, chest just won't be doing its job, job properly. Yeah. So this is probably getting battered. So coming in. Oh, oh a freaking wizard! Oh, oh, oh. See how bad that is? Oh, it's my brain. So, uh, this was meant to be an investigation to try and find where the pain is, but clearly we've already found it, so... What is that? It's called... <laughs> so the front down here is mashed up here, big time. 
Tap out. Freaking hell, dude. See that position? That position there. Get the army on the back, get run for the dial toy. Was like you were stabbing what me with we'll a do, hot knife. Let's just compare your left and right, yeah? Just want to see the difference. Oh, wow, yeah. It's quite um, flaccid. It's nice and squidgy. That's not much pain. Where am I going to poke the other side? Oh, yeah, just towel. Oh, bro, what, it's like you're poking What's going to happen? It's going to slip. So it goes down there. That. What the f? Sundays are not for calling Mitch. All you Tinder you and, gr and oh. grinder hookups, bro, leave him alone. I don't know Tinder, man. He's not that in the grind. What did you say, bro? Is this not that bad? Ah, bro, it's all. Well, it let's, is let's horrendous. Regress, let's so we can now bring his down up. Open it. Up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we start when it's shortened. <laughs> there, 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 there. Ah. That's oh, just front now. Yeah, so here we're getting one of the front dials. So you why do you have it? crossovers here though? Peck major will tie into the humerus, but your peck minor will go into the shoulder, yeah. go into the caracol there. That's yeah? off. Yeah, yeah. But what's going on is you're not getting the pain here. This is obviously also going to be tender because you're literally all insert right in here. <sighs> but what's going on, you're getting pain on the front dial. Already, you can tell, oh. this here, look. Check it up. See that there, look? Yeah. That there. Ah. Is literally like a block. Yeah. Just push out to me, push out. So you see his look, so there, look, that gap there, there's his, there's his latch without, there's his front without. This little gap here is where um, they split. Now watch, latch jump, not much pain. Okay. Watch, watch. So now we're going to the front out. See there, you see it all move then, watch. All is here, it's tight. Okay? So what you can do now, is you can do... Oh, dude, you can't warn me! Relax. Oh, my God. Raise the arm up for me. What you have to do is now mimic a bench press. Relax. Oh, we haven't hit something that painful for a while. I know. We get a lot of pain around here. Comes from there. Okay. That's spot. What? Oh. The only issue is as well because it's it sits over other muscles as well. Can be deeper muscles as well. So like the rotator cuff as well. Come around to the top. The pec major will come over as well. This is like the one that sits over. So if you go quite deep, it could be in his muscle as well. We can get into his pec major. Coming yeah. through. If we massage all this first, and then this starts to ease off, then we're onto, we're onto something now. No, okay. that's right. That's what that way your thumb is. You see how like where, where the pet major will go into into the humerus. You can just pick it up like that. Christ. Open. Whoa. Good. Yep. Open. <laughs> Whoa, it feels yeah. nicer already. Yeah. Look at what all you boys and girls are learning from my pain. My suffering to my children through the lens of the camera shall forever be posterialized. That's not a word on YouTube. Here's his bicep coming in. That will run That's so. Yeah. yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, if you can get a bit of fashion, you can get stuck in between these two. So, biceps here, and there's his darts and split there. Coming round. Yeah. For so, the very looseness of the pain should disappear with your bench. <gasps> Oh, what was that? Yeah, you felt that then? Yeah, that was bad. So I got to see tendons then. Oi. So I just went sharp as tendon there, look. That, that, ha! Do we, no, keep going, keep going, sorry. Oh, what are you doing, man? That was just, I was going, yes, that's it, ow. Yeah, 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 that's, oh, that's coming all the way down yeah. here. So you see his bicep split there, so slowly mm -hmm. do a bicep peel. See it split. Yeah. Good. Ooh. So you can see it all split here. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, the, the relax. Ah, oh, that's like... Yes. Hot, they got hot. Whack this game back now, let's go back to what we used to do. That's um, now like feels bruised, whereas before it was like you were violating my soul. What you'll notice as well, because we've eased up all this, you probably got better range of motion behind here. Bring that arm even further that maybe you can. So grab that and pull, so you say yeah. you stretch out the stout with you. Now give me a counter. Okay. Three two less than the other Oh, you still have such a ass land. Oh. Fawns. <laughs> Jimmy's, oh. Jimmy's reaction before, so there's a lot more pressure now. Oi! But he's not sh shooting off his. Foot yeah, I don't, want to, I don't want to run off the bed. Your whoop is cutting me. Watch my whoop, man. Your whoop. Oh, I'd like to point out that he took the mick out of me for having a whoop in the previous episode, and now look who's got a whoop. It's, it's like a bad 1990s wristband. Go on, never lapse. Ah! Ah! I feel a lot more mobile now. We stretch the front down and massage at the pet minor. Ooh! The main issue is going to be his front dart. What I'm getting is this compensating for the lack Yeah, so what normally work. happens is, when you're benching, if your shoulder comes up, watch what happens is, if his trapping turns off, his shoulder raises up, okay, 
Now this is out of position. Well, you'll see a lot of people doing bench. Yeah, you put a lot of pressure through here. Now, then when he benches, it goes through here. You don't get much movement from the pec. Look at the pec. Yeah? So it's not actually working properly. The front dart will take over big time and you get a lot of impingement here. But then what if he does, if he does thoracic extension. Now tuck this down for me. Big, big chest. Now bench for me. See his pec moves way more now. Okay, it tracks more. So this is what you want working. Because look, stay here. Now bring it out like this. This goes into here and will stretch here. Okay, if we're over here and this is flat back and the shoulders up like this, this is going to destroy here. Oh, I can feel that now. It's got to double check the rotator cuffs. Let's split up the angles. Oh. Last bit then, rotator cuff. Oh. Is that already hitting? Yeah. See how much this is battered? Yeah. Okay? This here gets mashed. These rotator cuffs will go into the heavy humerus. You can get shoulder pain relief just from massaging this here. You've got your terrace minor, you can see it. Try to let its arm relax for me. Okay, so this is this. Hey, is, this is oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wait, 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 wait. If I press here, <sighs> I'll get pain around here. Okay. Wrestle okay. up. That's just always probably oh, worse. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, dude. And you can't get pins and needles really down here. There's a lot of nerves beyond here. Don't do that again. Ah. Uh, you have to do that. Oh my god. Come around <sighs> me. Oh, that's alright. It's, it's literally that. What? Fuck. Yeah. Bro. Uh, bro, dude, you poked that like eight times. <laughs> I don't have to go that too loud. <laughs> Come on, listen, do it for the fucking community, bro. Okay, wait, give me a count. At least let me know. Let, let me, you're not, I can tell you're gonna go without listen, telling no, me. I'm about to count down. You're already pressing. Two, one. I can't do that back. <laughs> There's no way. That's still hurting. You see, you're pressing so hard, you're fine. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the fart will distract you from the pain. I hope it knocks me out. But, babe, that is so bad. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to touch that. Right? All this is now seized up, right? Your front down is spattered. Your rotator is spattered, yeah? These are going to struggle to keep this in, right? That's why you get your trackers off. You've got to loosen these off. See, here's this little bone here. Yes. Okay, that, that's your spine and the scap. Yeah, so your infraspinatus sits underneath it. So, inferior. And your supraspinatus, superior. So right there, coming in. That's all right. So it's easy to it's, you know, No, it's literally that. Oh, 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 that's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. That's off. So this is stretch. Ah. Right? Come on. Off. We've got to check his one boys here to see if they're not tracking properly. So think about this, yeah? When you're benching, your rhomboids will pin the scaps together. The rotator cuffs will lock the humerus in. And your lat will draw the whole blade and the humerus down. That is how you motherfuckers need the bench. And if you listen to Mitch, you won't have to come and do this horrible shit that I'm doing. Bring your right arm behind you, man. Size it once again. Yes, here. Okay, next one. Size it once again. See it's tight. Yeah. Towel. The front down. Where you tight it. Right. Don't jump on the. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, I think I just pulled my neck. Are you going to continue on that bit? Monsters, my mate. Ah, that's going all the way up to my neck. Okay. Just gonna dig right in. Oh, that's in my ear. Whilst I'm here, you chill out a bit. Oh. Listen, so I'm pressuring, I'm pressuring here. Where's he getting the pain? Travelling up to his ear. What leads up to there? His trapezius. We're on the wrong boy, but like I said, the trapezius sits over the top of it all, so if he's getting pressure in his ear, his ear needs to be loosened off as well. Oh my gosh, still there. That's where headaches come from, alright? I've got a massage that'll kill you. <laughs> okay, I'm just going into your lat here. Oh so going into this as well, because if this, if these are off, okay, it messes up his contraction to lock his blade in position. Keep his, his shoulder blade, what locks it down, down here is the lat. If this isn't working, it's still track up and down like that. So what we do, we massage it to so make sure this muscle is up to its optimal performance. So, 
Now you're cyber. If you watch the previous vlog, you will literally see in that vlog, I show the lat turning on and off. Mitch adjusts my position on the bench, and then the lat stays on, even with the mess up. So check out that vlog, it'll be linked here somewhere. So the main thing you want to do is pick up his scat like this. Okay. What you're going to do is lap pull down for me. Move your head, down, good, down, keep going. Lex was benching, yeah, okay. This was all working, but the lap probably wasn't probably turned on. So what he needs to do is he contracts these together, and then he, he drops the shoulder down. The lat is on, locks this in position yeah. where it can track. So think this, all this here is the stabilizer, whilst this and the chest can move. So now you can bench and stop the shoulder raising up in the bench, causing pain at the front. Now what you need to do is bring this like that, let that lap completely. Oh, well, that's actually nice. <sighs> There's always one moment in these massages that is just pleasant. It doesn't last long! Ah, there it is, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, two pots roll out! We're here, we're here. Deep breath, deep breath. It is! You see where the elbow is? No! Just under the scat. Oh, Jesus, it's hurting my front of my shoulder. Yeah, let's see it travels. Ooh Front that is weird as hell. You're in a place that no other man has been before. We've never hit this before, dude. I know, yeah. I'm move. Oh my god! When I move to the left, oh. when I move this to the left, you're gonna feel this bump in a minute, okay? What do you mean move to the left? Watch. What's to the left? There's nothing to the left. Well, you've got some just ribs, dude. Ah! Oh, there it what is, the there frick? it is, there it is. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, so move. We're on it. Bro! Huh. Stay here. Do breathe. 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 <sighs> left arm up over the head. Let, let it. Oh. oh! What was that? There we go, then. Sweet Christ! That was your lap. Oh. I just popped off it. Oh! You see it better the camera look. Wow! So, watch. Pop off there, oh, back there. Yep, 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 yep. Why are you going back? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Slowly, yeah. slowly bring your elbow to me. Oh, my hand back up. Ah. Down. Oh, that's bad. Back. Ah. Right. This should be nice and mobile now. <laughs> but the pain was coming from the front up in here. So think about it. If we sort this out and get this working properly, it will take the issue. Yeah, the load off this here and flip that. Yep, nice. Holy crap, dude. That was rough. How bad was that? That was bad. That is, that is hands down one of the most painful ones we've done. Before we do this, that was hands down one of my top three worst, the wor worst pains I felt. The reason it's the number three is because that lap plus that together, if you were close enough to be bitten. <laughs> Strong arm, worked on arm pressure on, you can fight that. That's quite strong. Then raise up, raise up. That's quite strong, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you can just really tell. Are you actually proper going up as well, John? I'm shaking. Okay, it's fucking now. Whoa! Go again, go again. See, see? Let me just do that one again. <sighs> Once we go. Well, this one feels fucking weaker now. <laughs> Once we go. Yeah, this one now feels just as strong. I feel like I'm pushing so strong on that that it's pulling my body around. Yeah. So do you see how the muscle contracts better? Which means the muscle will fire better and it will perform a lot more optimal. So sometimes it's not a weakness, it could just be, it's so beat up it's struggling to fire. Do you think there was any actual muscular injury there? Or is this just been the fact that it's tightened up? Realistically, it's, it's just battered, but it's not injured. It will get injured though, if we don't apply the therapy and then get the posterior side stronger. This is how injuries occur, so we have overcompensation, then boom, 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 keeps overcompensating, and then injured. So because there's not been an injury, we can now safely go and retest mm -hmm. on the bench, and let's see if that explosiveness transfers from his fists to my bench. <laughs> Bro, that was... He fisted me. Um, right, so let's just retest then, see what's going on. So, on my shoulders? Yeah, after this we'll, we'll redo your bench as well, just see what's going on. Pop out. Oh, bro. That's a good sign. That's a look. Point. No building pain. A little bit of like, still like, as if I need to train it in. Yep. In that instability still being there, but... The tracking's a little bit off, yeah. Yeah, so if I just focus, lock the lats in, squeeze the glutes, push back, and... 
Boom! Nice, okay? No pain. Woohoo! <sighs> okay. So we have hopefully fixed this shoulder issue so that these buffy boobies can get a little bit more bufferer. Bufferer. So here's a quick brief of how you should be benching from the ram. Go. Right, so think about this, yeah? When you're benching, yeah, what muscles are getting worked? Chest, shoulder, tricep, right? But what we don't have is stabilization. Like I said, the lats will drop your shoulders down and that keeps the shoulder from coming up here, okay? So we're taught to do shoulders back like this, but the key element is keeping it locked in. Everyone always criticise people with a bit of an arch. It is actually very important for your shoulders. And watch this. If I've got a flat back on my bench and I lower this bar, okay, watch what the shoulder does. I run out of movement and I'm here to get this to the chest, okay? Which then leads to shoulder impingement. So what I want to do is create that thoracic extension and lock the shoulders underneath, underneath like that. The lat here will turn on and we stabilise. And that there will stop this tracking up. This tension is here, so what you do is tension, grab your grip width, watch, come under and then flatten your neck. You're creating thoracic extension. Then when you're here, pick the bar out, then watch. We have to stabilise the bar, the lats. That will track in here. If they're not on, I can get sway and movement and then my shoulder lock can pop out if i tighten the lats in i now have tension in the back so it's a quick tension out tightness lats okay bring it down drive so when you first start this will you get more reps immediately from doing it no why? Because all of the muscles that you're now needing to use to stabilize to create that movement have not been trained. So they get tired and they will fatigue you. So you might actually lose reps, but the reps you get should feel better. They should feel sharper and shorter. So if it feels like it's, oh, it's there already, you're probably on the right track. Mm -hmm. Very similar to a good deadlift. Spot on. So that is it for today's video from the Shire, the new place that we will be videoing with all this room for activities so don't forget to subscribe like comment all those good things and we shall catch you in the next one with a boom hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on Dave.